after the board announcement and before the opening song, I'm going to say a word about the loop, and then I'll cue them to page 24. Okay. This is last week's. Do we have this week's? If not, I have them it on my phone, though, but I don't have the paper. Rabbi no, no, this is taking it. all the form. This is it. Oh, this but is it. No, they didn't change the date. Oh, okay. Because oh, I'm like, that's the wrong names. But as long as the announcements are the same, it's totally right? fine. Because it's the, for this, for this Sunday. Okay. All right, that's fine. Just making sure I'm reading the right stuff. Yeah. I'm like, I have it on my phone. Did I didn't bring my phone? I thought that would be a little weird. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Good evening. My name is Cheryl Brown, and on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Congregation, welcome to Congregation Beth Chaim. Please take a look at the screen behind me for ways to enhance your prayer experience and to keep everyone safe. Thank you for joining us this evening, and Shabbat Shalom. And Shabbat Shalom from a second person. Nice to see all of you. Um, before we officially begin our worship, uh, many of you know that we have uh, installed a hearing loop in, into the congregation. And um, for those of you who are wearing hearing aids, if you'd like to use the loop, which essentially turns our audio system into the equivalent of almost Bluetooth directly to your hearing aids, so that you should be able to hear better than those who are not hearing impaired, 
and you could tell them what they're missing in the great sermons that'll unfold this year, um, please turn it on. If you don't have telecoil, or if you have telecoil, but you have not yet had your audiologist turn it on, there are five headsets on the small table, which will allow anyone to use the loop. So even if you have perfect hearing, but want to know a little bit about the technology we have, maybe share it with a friend. We've already had, I've already had two congregants who have now learned about this that have, didn't have hearing aids that are now going out to get the hearing aids they've always needed because we're making wearing hearing aids cool at Beth Chaim. So with that, if you have any questions, we'll answer them after the service. Shabbat Shalom. Our service begins on page 24. Please join us in Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharit, Malachi Elion, Mimelech, Malachi Amlachi, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Ochem Lishalom, Malachi Asharom, There once was a fellow who owned a jewelry store in Israel. One day a nine-year-old girl walked into the store and said, I'm here to buy a bracelet. She looked through the glass case and pointed to a bracelet that cost $3,000. The man behind the counter asked her, you want to buy that bracelet? Yes, she replied. Well, you have very good taste. Who do you want to buy it for? For my older sister. Oh, that is so nice, said the shopkeeper. Why do you want to buy your older sister that bracelet? Because I don't have a mother or a father, she said, and my older sister takes care of us. So I want to buy her a present, and I'm willing to pay for it. She pulled out of her pocket a handful of coins that totaled about eight shekels, just under two dollars. The fellow said, wow, that's exactly how much the bracelet costs. While wrapping up the bracelet, he said to the girl, you write a card for your sister while I wrap up the bracelet. He finished the wrapping, wiped away his tears, and handed the little girl the package. A few hours later, the older sister entered the store in a huff. I'm terribly embarrassed, she said. My sister should not have come here. She shouldn't have taken it without paying. What are you talking about, the shopkeeper said. This bracelet costs thousands of dollars. My sister doesn't even have $10. Obviously, she didn't pay for it. You couldn't be more wrong, the shopkeeper said. She paid me in full. She paid seven shekels, 80 agarot, and a broken heart. I want to tell you something, said the shopkeeper. I am a widower. I lost my wife a number of years ago. People come into my store every single day. They come and they buy expenses, expensive pieces of jewelry. And all of these people can afford it. When your sister walked in, for the very first time in so very long since my wife died, I once again felt what love means. He gave her the bracelet and wished her well. During the High Holy Days, we come to the Almighty and we want to buy something very expensive. We want to buy life. 
but we cannot afford it. We don't have enough merits to pay for it. So we come to the Almighty and we empty out our pockets and we give God whatever merits we have and promises that we make for the coming year. That I'll pick up the phone and call someone who is lonely. That I'll come to services more often. That I'll be more careful about not speaking gossip. That I'll be more kind. The Almighty says, you don't know how long it's been since I felt what love means. God sees how we yearn to improve ourselves. And God says, you know what? You have touched my heart. Here it is, paid in full. So on this Shabbat, on the eve of this new year, let us come to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur with our broken hearts, our full hearts, our dedication to being better in the coming year, our hopes and dreams for the world, and let it be a year of health and happiness for us all. Friends, having shared the Devar Torah to begin our service, we're now just going to pray the service straight through without a break in the middle to enjoy the Kavanah that comes from the beauty of music and prayer as we celebrate Shabbat together. We begin on pages two and three as we invite Jeff and Lois Miller to the Bima, the honor of lighting Shabbat candles. Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us, as their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own way, be among those who kindle light. Page five. Adonai, Elohinu Melacholam, Asher Kirishano Mitzvota, Verat Savanu, Vishabat Kocho, Vava Uvratson, Hinchilanu, Zikaron, Emma Asebere, she, Kihu Yom Tehila, Lemikra Ekodesh, Zechel Itziat Mitraim, Kivanu Vacharta. Vyotanu ki dashta mikol hamim Veshabat kochecha Beahava uvratzon Hinchatanu Baruch ata Adonai Mekadesh ha-shabat Amen.
Friends, we invite you to take a moment to wish someone near you Shabbat Shalom as we continue to welcome Shabbat. This past Shabbat, my 16-year-old uh, son in Israel had an opportunity to spend Shabbat in Tzfat. It's the mystical town up in the north of Israel where, according to tradition, hundreds of years ago, the rabbis of old and the men of the town, different generation, would go out into the field waiting for the Shabbat bride to make her way in with the setting of the sun singing this song. So through his eyes, it's special, especially for me on this Shabbat, as we all join together to imagine Shabbat arriving from a distance, the setting of the sun, hopefully bringing an extra measure of peace and blessing throughout the day and days to come. Pages 20 and 21, we continue with L'Chadodi. La 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 Thank you. 
Continue together on page 27. Together, teach me, O God, a blessing, a prayer on the mystery of a withered leaf, on ripened fruit so fair, on the freedom to see, to sense, to breathe, to know, to hope, to despair. Teach my lips a blessing, a hymn of praise, as each morning and night you renew your days. Lest my day be today as the one before, lest routine set my ways. Page 26. Ve 
ונשמח בדברי תורתך ובמצוותך לעולם ועד, כי הם חיינו לאורך ימינו, ובהם נגה יומם ולילה, נגה יומם ולילה. ועבדך תסיר ממנו לעולמים ברוך אתה אדוני אוהב עמו ישראל אוהב עמו ישראל אדוני אלוהינו אדוני אחד שמע ישראל אדוני אלוהינו אדוני אחד שמע ישראל אדוני אלוהינו אדוני אחד שמע ישראל אדוני אלוהינו אדוני אחד שם כבוד, שם כבוד מלכותו לעולם ועד. יאללה לי, יאללה לי, יאללה לי, יאללה לי, יאללה עשיתם את כל מצוותי, ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. Page 38, join together. All this we hold to be true and trustworthy for us. You alone are our God, and we are Israel, your people. You are our sovereign and savior, who delivers us from oppressors' hands and saves us from tyrants' fists. You work wonders without number, marvels beyond count. You give us life and steady our footsteps. You perform miracles for us before Pharaoh, signs and wonders in the land of the Egyptians. You led your people Israel out from their midst to freedom for all time. When your children witnessed your dominance, they praised your name in gratitude, and they accepted your sovereignty. Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together, 
lifting their voices joyously. Page 40. Mi kamocha ba'eli madonai, mi kamocha nedar v'kodesh. Nora te'ilot o'sefelet, nora te'ilot o'sefelet. Malachu te'cha ra'u v'necha, bokeh ayam l'ifne moshe. Adonai Imloch, Adonai Imloch, Le'olam Ba'ed. V'nehemar kifad Adonai et Yaakov, U'g'alo miyad chazak mimenu, Baruch at Adonai ga'al Yisrael. Page 
Page 46, we rise together. Please be seated. We continue on page 55 responsively. Disturb us, Adonai, ruffle us from our complacency, make us dissatisfied, dissatisfied with the peace of ignorance, the quietude which arises from a shunning of the horror, the defeat, the bitterness, and the poverty, physical and spiritual, of humans. Shock us. Wake us, O God, and shake us from the sweet and sad poignancies rendered by half-forgotten melodies and rubric prayers of yesteryears. Make us know that the order of the sanctuary is not the order of the living, and the walls of your temples are not sheltered from the winds of truth, justice, and reality. Disturb us, O God, and vex us. Let not your Shabbat be a day of torpor and slumber, let it be a time to be stirred and spurred to action. Baruch atarunai mikadesh hashabbat. Page 57, together. Ever-present one, may we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land and Zion restored in all lands, you are our God, whom alone we serve in reverence. Every Shabbat, we take a moment 
to give thanks. And on this Shabbat, as 5779 draws to a close, we look back on the year behind us and think of all the things that we have for which we can give thanks. If there is anything for which you are particularly thankful this week, please uh, raise your hand and in a word or a sentence, let us know what you're thankful for. Twenty-four people. Wow. Yes. I'm thankful that I made thirty years of my company change today. Nice. Yes. Tom's help. Modi Manakula. Modi Manakula. healing. Yes. Memories. Yes. Very nice. Welcome. Modi Manakula. Modi Friends were told that Shabbat is supposed to be a taste of what perfection could be. So perfect that we can't imagine asking for anything except. There's only one exception that the rabbis add that we can ask for because they say shalom, peace, shleimut, wholeness, is the most important of all. And even when we dream of perfection, to add that extra prayer they considered to be blessing. And so we join together on page 60 as we continue with our Birkat Shalom, our blessing for peace. We continue with silent prayer.
Many of us are here tonight because we gain strength from this community. And so let us lend our strength to each other as we think of those in our lives who are in need of healing. Whether that be healing of the body, healing of the mind, healing of the heart, or healing of the soul. Let us find strength in naming aloud our loved ones as we go around the sanctuary. To those names we add, oh, mm -hmm. Megan Mary DePero, Rhoda Schwartz, Arlene Grable, Donald Mulaski, Teddy Mulaski, Nathan Hecker, Jeff Stoller, Claire Meyer, William Jackie Sola, Stephanie Herman, Zahava Batrivka, Steve Bizanoff, Marion Berman, Kent Payne, Ken Pograb, Jim Brown. And let us garner strength from these words of Torah as we repeat Moses' prayer for his sister Miriam. Miriam, Miriam, Miriam. 
our prayers turn to the hope for healing of the world as we rise and recite Aleinu on the top of page 282. 282 at the top. Alenu le shabayach la don hakol, la teit gidula li otser bereshit, shehuno te shamayim vi osed aretz, umo shavikaro ba shamayim imal, ushkinatu zobigav hemeromim, hu eloheinu enod, vanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, Lipne melech malche hamlachim, hakadosh paruchu, venemar ve hayadonai, le melech al kularetz, payomahu, payomahu, ye adonai echad, ushemo, ushemo, ushemo. Please be seated as we continue on 288. When I die, give what's left of me away to children and old men that wait to die. And if you need to cry, cry for your brother walking the street beside you. And when you need me, put your arms around anyone and give them what you need to give me. I want to leave you something something better than words or sounds. Look for me in the people I've known or loved. And if you cannot give me away, at least let me live in your eyes and not in your mind. You can love me best by letting hands touch hands and by letting go of children that need to be free. Love doesn't die, people do. So when all that's left of me is love, give me away. Mourner's Kaddish can be found on page 294. When I recite the name of your loved one, please rise in your seat until we'll all be joining you for the prayer itself. Remembering one who died this week, Alan Lovich, husband of Judy. Two who were taken from us in these past 30 days who loved, whose loved ones are still in the period of Shloshim. Dr. Stephen Harris, husband of Arlene, Andrew Feldman, brother of Esther Goldstein. And we're remembering the following yard sites, the anniversaries of the passing of the following loved ones. Lena Balaban, Charlotte Friedman, Stephen Goldstein, Kaya Liebhaber, Judith Michelson, Michael Deutsch, Esther Goldstein, Samuel Feldman, Brett Fenster, Nettie Gittleman, Martha Goldman, Dimitri Gavorko, Henry Durlacher, Murray Goldberg, Barton Kamen, Sylvia Polovsky, Erwin Mann, Antoinette Silverman, Benjamin Roth. Lester Miller, Bernadelle Gittleman, Florence Pearl, Blanche Pograb, George Lester, Richard Aronow, Gerald Silberberg, Julius Spielman, Harry Wexler, Ida Goldsmith, Celia Friedman, Claire Muroff, Beverly Milstein, Natalie Schiffer, and Dottie Akrak. For all those and many more we're remembering this Shabbat, we rise as one community and recite the hallowed words on page 294. Yitgadal gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabbah, b'yalma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute, b'chayechon uv'yomechon, uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, Ba'gala, Vizman Kari, Vimru, Amen. 
Yehe Shime Raba Mivarach Vealam Ulame Almaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Viet Paar Vit Romam Viet Nase Viet Hadar Viet Ale Viet Alal Shime de Kudisha Rihu Leela Minko Birchata Vishirata Tushbechata Venechimata Da Miran Biama Vimru Amen Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya the Chaim Alenu Veal Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. O se shalom bimromav, Hu ya se shalom Alenu Veal Kol Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Zichronam Libracha, may their memory always be for a blessing. Please be seated. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, I'd like to offer our appreciation to the ushers and Oneg hosts and hostesses for their help tonight. Rosh Hashanah begins Sunday with a family-friendly Rosh Hashanah service in Mercer County Park at 4.30 p.m. and the Erev Rosh Hashanah service at 7.30 p.m. here at Bel Chaim. Please join us Monday at 9 a.m. for our contemporary service or for the traditional service at 11.15. Babysitting for children up to age five will be available for both services. A special High Holy Day program for post B'nai Mitzvah teens only will be held at 10.45 a.m. in the Youth Lounge. Children's programming for grades K through five will be available starting 11.15 a.m. Our pre-reader family service will begin at 2 p.m. As in previous years, Tashlik will take place at Mercer County Park Marina at 3 p.m. Monday afternoon. Second day Rosh Hashanah services begin at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. Shabbat Shalom. To hearken or to echo Rabbi Beal's words earlier, we want to pray for peace. This Shabbat, every Shabbat, this coming year, and so we conclude with a prayer for peace. If you'd like to follow in your prayer books, page 338 at the top, but also on the screens. Adonai oz l'amo yitain Adonai oz l'amo yitain Adonai oz l'amo yitain Adonai yivarech et amo Adonai yivarech et amo Let us rise as one community and gather round as we break bread. Drew's ready. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> We're, we're an over 13 house tonight. Come on closer. And poor Dora is gluten intolerant. So <laughs> you have your own challah? All right, fantastic. Freshly baked round challah for the new year. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam. Hamotzi lechem min haaretz. This Shabbat before Rosh Hashanah, we ask for peace, we ask for rest, 
We ask for strength to enter this new year, a new year we hope is filled with joy, with new opportunities to learn and to grow, and chances to connect with each other. May this Shabbat launch us into a beautiful new year. May God bless us and protect us. May God's face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May God's countenance be upon us and may God grant us and all peoples of this world with God's greatest gift of all, the gift of peace. Amen. Tikia. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Gotta leave them wanting more. Leave them wanting more.